Hi, I'm George Crump, Chief Marketing Officer with Store One. At Store One, we provide all flash array systems, hybrid systems, and hard disk only systems. And a lot of customers will come to us and say, which one should I get? Well, if you listen to the market, most of the market's going to tell you that you need to get a storage system that looks kind of like this, dual controller, and a single tier of flash, which we would, of course, refer to as an all-flash array. Now, clearly there are workloads that need this type of performance. Uh, maybe uh, you have Oracle or Microsoft SQL or MySQL. Uh, you might have a database environment that can really drive those sort of environments hard. Uh, those environments, by the way, are probably very write heavy. Uh, so there are some environments uh, that, that clearly need that. But in any organization, there's probably a lot of other uh, workloads that just don't need that type of environment. And I would go so far to say many uh, VMware environments don't always need that type of performance. Certainly most file workloads uh, don't need uh, all flash array uh, type of performance. And so you want to be able to mix things up. Uh, but you don't want to force customers into different types of situations where they, they have to settle for less. Uh, what I see a lot with uh, today's hybrid systems is what they do is they make a very small flash tier that's maybe 8 terabytes and then they use a very large hard disk tier uh, that might be uh, 300, gig, uh, 300 terabytes, right? So that's HDD and flash. So the problem with that type of a configuration and that type of strategy is the chances of these applications actually getting data off of Flash are very, very low if you look at the proportions here. So what if you came in and instead of doing this, instead of making it an eight terabyte Flash tier, what if it was uh, 180 uh, terabyte Flash tier? Now I've got enough Flash that I can do some things. So for example, I could lock my uh, Oracle, Microsoft SQL, and um, uh, MySQL databases into Flash. And the moment I do that, I've got all Flash performance for those databases that absolutely have to have them. Now for my VMware environment, I might want to design that so I'm doing a hybrid solution where most of my data is on Flash. But as it ages, it goes to the hard disk tier. And then for files, I might decide I don't need anything on Flash. All my users are remote, especially nowadays. So I might do the, uh, the file data off of that as well. And now I've balanced my workload. The other big thing I've done is I've really reduced cost. Uh, just to give you an example, and this is using our pricing, uh, an all-flash array, a one-petabyte all-flash array from us is $500,000, which is uh, one of the best prices, if not the best price on the market for a petabyte of all-flash, especially considering our performance and features. A hard disk, if you could add one petabyte of hard disk to that system for about $100,000. Right? And so the combination now is you got a one petabyte uh, flash tier and a one petabyte hard disk tier. That's a significantly uh, difference in price and you can see where the savings is, right? So when all flash vendors say they've reached price parity with hard disk drives, uh, I don't know where they're getting their hard disk drives from, but typically speaking, a hard disk, uh, the capacity in hard disk is about 10 to 20% of the price of the flash based system. So what we think makes the most sense is, is this hybrid sort of model where you're using uh, both technologies at the same time. Now, the uh, other option here also, of course, is our All Flash Array Next, which is a system that is, again, would have your controllers and then would have a uh, Intel Optane uh, tier. and then back-ended with QLC Flash. 
Now, the advantage of this system, this system is still less than the cost of a, uh, a typical all-flash array, except now at the upper tier, I'm delivering millions of IOPS instead of hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of IOPS, yet I still have QLC flash for my capacity. Uh, and what that gives me is all the advantages of a hybrid system without the disadvantage of accessing data from hard disk drives. So in this world, I do have to be a little concerned about what performance will look like coming from the hard disk tier. We get around that by having a very big flash tier so that data here is, is, is pretty well old or backup data at that point. Uh, so the chances of it impacting performance aren't that good, uh, aren't that great. Uh, but here, I don't have to worry about it at all because my performance coming, my read performance coming off of this flash tier is going to be very similar to the read performance coming off of the Optane tier. So there's no real performance uh, penalty for using this type of technology. The important thing, though, is the choice is yours, right? In our world, if you want a one petabyte all flash array, again, like I said, we're selling those right now for $500,000, we got you. If, if you want to save a little bit of money and go with a system that's maybe 180 terabytes and some capacity at the hard disk level, we can do that too. And if you want the, the really the next generation in performance, it, it's really this all flash array next with an Intel Optane powered upper tier and QLC flash at the lower tier. But you really need a company that's gonna be able to give you a choice of these different hybrid options. All flash array isn't really an all flash array. It's just a single tiered storage system. You want flexibility so you can match the cost and capacity and performance of these different types of media to the workload demands that you have up here. To learn more, go to store1.com. I'm George Crump, Chief Marketing Officer.